hi I uh, hope you all people are doing well uh, sorry it's been a long time I stayed away I was busy with some other work uh, well uh, this time I've got something really interesting for the people who are a rider or who are uh, motorcycle enthusiasts enthusiast. Um, well I hope you know there was a common problem um, in a motorbike when you have a normal telescopic suspension so the basic problem is when you try to apply brake or when you try to take a corner CG shifts to the front because there's a red potential reduction in your wheel base because the rack angle changes it, it stays a, it, it never stays consistent so in this simulation I'll be so I'll be showing you how does this rack angle changes and as well as the wheel base like one over here and uh, we got um, rack angle over here so I just run the simulation okay now you could see well it has just wheel like uh, no wait I'll just make suspense everything activated so you could see where my springs are shifted my CG above the optimal position in order to execute and get the result in exaggerated way fine so I have just added the mass and pivoted over here um, and that has been supported by two springs so that when you apply a brake or when you accelerate the mass changes so as the CG fine so I'll just make them visible so that you can see how does it function Okay. So there are the springs. The when whenever the springs are in red color, it means they are under compression. And you could see how the rack angle is been changing, and at the same time the wheel base. Now vehicle is accelerating and uh, due to the initial effect the bodies tend to move backward and you can see that because the rest spring is under compression now the brake will be applied it is 0.5 second and the body tends to move forward and you can see there is a drastic reduction in my rack angle and this distance you can see the body is moving forward the rack angle has been shifted from 116 to 13 now and my distance has shifted from 48 point something to 42 and whereas my wheel base has changed the value from 50 150 to 152 to 150 now that was a very drastic reduction indeed it was almost a variation of a 3 degrees well uh, I would rather say 4 degrees of rack angle The rack angle has varied with respect to the top, with respect to the time, and with respect to the idle position. That has started from, I believe, uh, somewhere close to zero. I believe, since uh, there was initial gap left between the tire and the ground, um, it is ideally not zero. It's somewhere close to zero, so we need to subtract accordingly. And from zero, it has changed. It has gone at the maximum of 3.5 degree when it really, and then it stayed consistent, almost close to consistent to 1.5 I would rather say because of the uh, uh, shocks and um, over here the brake was started to apply the rack sh shifted due to the application of a brake and how it changes so at this point of time whenever you take a corner you try to put up a front brake so that you you you, you, you could lean it easy and you, you can reduce your speed and lean easily and this is how the rack angle changes fine I have uh, okay and I'll also show you the BD base uh, okay, no, this is not the BD base variation this is actually the distance telescopic compression variation so, so it starts from not from the 50 approximately close to that and this is how it varies. Okay, uh, I don't have the real base variation distance, so I'll just execute. So 
for distance, uh, linear displacement, and I said x component. Let's add this point. Let's add this. Let's add this point. Let's say okay. Okay, this is how my wheelbase has changed. Don't just don't worry about the negative sign because of the direction. Just consider the magnitude of the values. So that give you a potential value. This is how um, the wheelbase has changed. Right. So when initially it was accelerating, it goes at the maximum. That's an ideal condition because when the front wheel is not touching the ground, it stays at the maximum. Once it starts touching the ground, the wheelbase changes and it goes, it, it varies under uh, braking conditions, especially when you put a front brake, right? This is how your, uh, the parameters, these are the dynamic parameters that changes your ride, riding characteristics in the motor vehicle and they are very essential for, to stay optimized for a better performance, for a more rigid performance. Well, uh, after carrying out this, I thought of why not carry out the same simulation with uh, greater suspension and I have also made the same thing over here and we will see how does it performs so I will just start it here I got a rack angle and a wheel base I'll just try to make this things activate here. You could see spins over here. So this is basically nothing but a greater suspension system uh, where you have an upper and a lower control arms or a wish from that you could call it which you have in the front side of a vehicle or the right side of a vehicle depending upon the kind of suspension system they are equipped with and they basically follow a ratio of normal standard rule of um, Upper the ratio of length of upper control arm to the lower control arm between the 0.7 to so the 0.4 to 0.7 that gives you an optimum rack angle variation. Well, in, when you compare it with respect to the vehicle, it is a camber angle. So as the position changes, the camber angle changes. It also never stays consistent. So based upon your geometry, it does vary. It's the same in the motorbike too. Um, Okay, now you could see how uh, dynamically the rack angle and the wheel base are changing. Okay, now it's under braking. It has changed dramatically from 106, sorry, 116 to now it's gone to 1107. That's a drastic change, I hope. I, well, I have not optimized the length dimensions could be another reason for this and another thing um, these links they never follow a parallelogram rules so so I'll just open up the results and I'll see what is my back angle variation oh, let's begin just started somewhere around the, let's consider this point to be zero so it turns out to be 4.9 and the bottom is again a 4.9 that's a huge variation in comparison mechanism I would rather say um, I have not optimized the link either that could be one potential reason uh, well uh, let's see how does the wheelbase changes over a period of time well over here you could see the wheelbase try to remain very consistent over a period of time the variation is very minimal 167.7 is a minimum and 169.7 is the maximum that it's almost two so it's two centimeter the wheelbase almost remains the same as the reason in this kinds of like a greater suspend greater shock system they say the cg positioning almost stays consistent but i believe uh, i really need to optimize the design especially this length the lens and the positioning that could give me better results even in my pitch that is a rack angle so you people can do it and let me know how does it work on and i hope you enjoy the session and uh, i'll catch you very soon with another session